Hello, Leos, and welcome to your August 2019 uh, Path of True Love reading. Uh, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs on the Path of True Love for August 2019. So uh, I actually tried taping one of these while I was away visiting family in Saratoga, and the lighting wasn't great. And I, there was just so much going on. I read so many people face to face while I was away. So uh, I just decided to wait until I got, got back home. So you're the first ones that I'm doing, obviously. So uh, I got a new deck. Sorry, previous signs. I got a new deck called Whispers of Love. They're, they're really, really, really good. They're <laughs> sort of reading me for filth. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing my Superman t-shirt uh, for Leo because, you know, the sun. <laughs> talk about a solar Superman. So uh, I'm just getting myself situated. I literally got home last night. Uh, I'm, I'm refreshed and recharged and ready to read, ready to serve. By the way, I am Leo Rising, so I have a strong connection. Obviously, any reader who has a planetary connection uh, to any of the signs in their natal chart, there's going to be a little bit more oomph or, or understanding or connection there, or maybe lack thereof. But I am so ready to rock and roll. So let's do this. Um, since I'm now reading five decks uh, for these readings, just to clarify in case this is your first time doing this here with me, uh, the first thing I do is I pull two cards from the Carolyn Mace Archetypes deck. One for the Divine Mas... Well, the first one I do, ladies first. One for the Divine Feminine and one for the Divine Masculine. Now remember, please, we are not talking about bodily gender. We are talking about energetic dynamics. And even within my own uh, life, I can see where with some people I'm more Divine Feminine and with others I'm more Divine Masculine. It is the balance of alchemical chemistry, if you will, what uh, the other brings up in you and what you bring up in them in order to create balance in that moment or imbalance, which then needs to be balanced, which is pretty much what the path of true love is about. Healing path, spiritual path, seen through the lens of relationships. Remember, true love is not just about romance and sex and marriage. So as I pull uh, a card for each of the, uh, the divine feminine and the divine masculine, I just ask you to please keep in mind one of them is probably going to resonate with you stronger than the other. Because uh, if you're thinking it's in one relationship where you're really the divine feminine, but then you're feeling pulled towards the divine masculine, that might not be the relationship we're looking at. Uh, and because I am tuned to the collective uh, in terms of Leo, Sun, Moon, uh, Rising, and Venus signs, it's a lot of people. But I really uh, pray and bless the decks beforehand that they be used as channels of guidance and grace, really, for anybody who's going to watch these, because there are so many different ones on YouTube, right? So I'm bringing uh, uh, what I do best to the table. So starting now, dearest God, God us all that is, please give us one card to represent the divine feminine in this reading. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs on the on the path of true love, really on the path of true love, August 2019. This one on the pinky. Who do we got there? Oh, we've got the teacher. I have the teacher, obviously, big time, uh, lifelong, really, 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 really powerful, powerful wisdom family archetype. Now let's pick one for the Divine Masculine. Here we go. Whoop, somebody flipped. We're flipping you back. If you come up again, that's fine. But this is such a thick deck. The chances of things popping out, even during the initial blessing shuffle, there were cards popping out that were really wonderful. I'm like, bring it back around. Dearest God, God is all that is. Please, one card in clarification of the Divine Masculine in this situation for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs on the path of true love, August 2019. This one, the bully, it is the card that popped out before that I did not want to look at. So there we go, there we have it. Uh, excuse me, excuse you. Uh, I have my little water squirter in case the cats get rowdy, but they're all upstairs 
uh, in their day bed in the air conditioning. So as I tune to this already, this does feel like uh, um, it feels like an older, younger relationship. Remember, tune yourself to which one you feel. Are you the teacher or are you the bully? And I'm going to read what's written on these cards to help clarify that. But when I say age difference, it might be a maturity uh, difference. In other words, the chronological age doesn't necessarily matter, <coughs> particularly for Leos, because they can be so bright and shiny. It almost doesn't matter. Uh, like I'm Leo rising. I do not look my age. I'm 50 years old. Uh, it's because there's there's just that solar thing going on all the time. That's really how I appear in this world, constantly renewing. Um, so they're saying, read the teacher. So we, I, I just start with the divine feminine because ladies first. It's the easiest way to do it. Remember, archetypes are neutral. In these cards, there is a light attribute and a shadow attribute, alchemy, how you turn the lead to gold. Light attribute, ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. You could say and wisdom too. I mean, that's great, right? You know, you don't have to be standing in front of a chalkboard or in a classroom to teach. I am a teacher that teaches wherever I go. Well, I'm doing it right now, as a matter of fact. So I've got this one uh, lifelong in spades. But I think we all know the shadow teacher because we've all had shadow teachers. They teach us what not to do in a lot of ways. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll read this shadow attribute. Manipulating or abusing students teaching negative traits and destructive skills. So how are you going to have your pudding if you didn't eat your meat? Mm. A little pink Floyd the wall for you there. Now, I can feel that. I can relate to that. Um, and as a divine feminine archetype, that can be incredibly challenging. Let's look at the bully. Now, the bully, again, has a light and uh, a shadow, but if you look at it, it's a bully that's sort of made of a cloud and just blowing lots of air. This card has come up before in previous readings. The light attribute highlights your tendency to intimidate others, helps you confront the inner fears that bully you. In other words, when you find yourself intimidating people, and they're sidetracking me here for a moment, uh, read the Celestine Prophecy. Uh, by James Redfield. It is, I believe, the first of the four control dramas that he discusses in that called The Intimidator. I don't have The Intimidator. I have the next one, The Interrogator. What do you mean by that? <laughs> um, so, you know, that is the thing when you can really kind of connect with, oh my God, I am being a bully right now, that it helps me then confront what are my fears that I am trying to overcome by terrifying other people, right? The shadow attribute conce conceals deep fears behind verbal or physical abuse. Essentially, that's why there's no coward card in this deck, because the coward, in a way, truly, what in a way is the shadow side, that the bully and the coward, and it's all about courage and facing your fears, right? So, uh, I mean, look, just in terms of the world right now, the divine feminine is the teacher and the divine masculine is the bully, because we're, sorry, I did that, no, I did it the right way, right? So the divine feminine is the sacred heart, the divine masculine is uh, the sacred mind. So uh, you could see where we are in the world right now. This is very indicative of the world that we are in right now, not just saying with women, but the divine <laughs> feminine in terms of intuition, in terms of spirituality, in terms of going within and finding the truth. It's a big thing right now because the mind is so terrified and uh, posturing. You could say toxic masculinity on an energetic global scale. So no, oh, oh, okay. So know that if, if this really is resonating with you, that you might be part of healing this for the collective, regardless of which side you're playing. And here comes a kitty cat for Leo reading. Which one are you? Hey, Melky. You know, it's so funny. Usually when I come home from a trip, it takes them like an hour. They're like, mama. Well, I gave them kitty treats. You know, just spent a, five days with my mom. and <laughs> my, my motherhood skills are honed. Let's go in. We're going to talk to the angels here. Now, I already asked for the Mikhailite, uh, Archangel, the Archangel Michael and all of his Mikhailite guides because that's element of fire. But I always say to the angels, whoever's got a piece to show, we're, we're willing. There they are. <laughs> so please, my angels, please, a clue, a tip, a hint 
for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus on the Path of True Love for August 2019, dealing with this divine feminine teacher and this divine masculine bully. A clue, a tip, a hint. A clue, a tip, a hint. A clue, a tip, a hint. <laughs> Romance. Okay. So we know this isn't about family. <laughs> well, that's good. Thank you. Nothing like nothing like a Mikael light to just take the sword and go flack, right? So we're going to get them all on the table, and then I will go deeper and see what other cards need to be thrown as usual. My gods. Now, Apollo is dominant with me uh, in terms of Leo. He sits in my throne of Leo. Uh, but I really do ask any of the gods in particular. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus on the Path of True Love. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus on the Path of True Love for August 2019. Please, a clue, a tip, a hint. A clue, a tip, a hint. Ah, Ace of Cups. Hey there, sorry about that. Uh, the camera glitched, but I'm picking it right up where it left off. Here we've got the Ace of Cups. Uh, I mean, if you've been watching any of these videos anywhere, you know that the Ace of Cups is a new beginning an offering, something like uh, of, of that. Uh, but the way I see it, particularly in this deck, because it's subtitled happiness, that there is a happy romance uh, available here, at least an ace. Aces are like seeds. You can crush a seed under your heel and, you know, destroy it. You could eat it, I guess, like sunflower seed. Perfect for Leo. <laughs> They're having fun with me today. Uh, or you could plant it and tend it and nurture it and grow it. So it's very interesting between a teacher and a bully, right? So that's what the gods have to say. Now let's ask the masters. And now we know about, you know, this deck of cards. It can be a little womp wompish, but let's have a look. My masters of true love, please. One card, one card, one card. A clue, a tip, a hint for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs on the path of true love for August 2019. Please, a clue, a tip, a hint. A clue, a tip, a hint. A clue. No, a clue, a tip, a hint. I'm feeling you. Top? Oh, cynicism. Well, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. That clicks, that clickety click clicks. And they want me to hold off on the new deck, Whispers of Love. We're going to use that at the end. I have a feeling that might be how this rolls. So here's the thing. Here is the thing. Uh, divine mother, uh, sorry, divine feminine teacher here. You might feel like, oh, no, not another child I have to teach. I know the feeling. Oh, no, please. Not another rebel. Not another bad boy. Because probably what you're also doing is teaching yourself through this. That I am a teacher. I teach myself, taught myself tarot, reading a bunch of different books, but mostly through doing it, right, and, and learning it as I went. And I feel that that's similar, that you've sort of done this scenario before. Keep in mind it's only an ace, but with that card romance, right, that the, the, the cynicism between the two of you might be like, yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah, 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 we'll see. Now, that might be more on the side of the bully because that tends to be a defense that they play, though not always necessarily verbalized, right? Uh, but but for the teacher, know that that in, in terms of what true love is, like whether you want to call this a karmic relationship or a twin flame or a soulmate, I'm, I, I'm going to do a video on that this week about my definitions for them. Uh, that will help clarify, and I will put that link in uh, videos forthcoming uh, after that. Um, because they are different. Uh, but if you've had a bunch of what's called karmic relationships, in other words, just shit you had to clean up from other lives, yeah, a teacher and a bad boy and a bully, that's classic, right? Uh, but that this could, this feels like a higher level of that, that this is your opportunity teacher or and or your opportunity bully to, to kind of get that your cynicism is standing in the way of you stepping into something that may not take you all the way home, but that there is something to learn here. Oh, they're telling me to grab one of these, one for the divine feminine and one for the divine masculine. Now, I love these cards. 
uh, I read at uh, the Magic Moon in Saratoga Springs, and I saw the deck, and, and Veronica, the owner, gave it to me for free because I like I was reading everybody left, right, and center. So nothing like giving a Virgo a work tool, right? So God got us all that is. Please give us one of these Whispers of Love cards, just a little, a little thing of, of what they can do, what they can focus on, a clue, a tip, a hint in this relationship with this bully that is the one of cups, an offering of happiness, a seed of happiness with romance and cynicism. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Isn't that pretty? Now that makes sense for the teacher in the sense that maybe that's what you're teaching, right? That love endures. You know, unconditional love, it, it seems so complex, but it's essentially love without condition. But nowhere did it say that it was love without boundaries. In other words, unconditional love is simultaneously yin and yang, right? Without condition. So if, of course, my, my divine feminine teachers it, it's that thing of, you know what, I, I, you're, you can try and bully me all you want, castle wall, but if you actually want to drop some of the cynicism, and keep in mind, teachers can be wicked cynical too. Again, I'm not necessarily talking the profession of teaching, but if you found yourself again, 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 and again, and again, an older, uh, more mature uh, of the two in situations, that could totally apply that love endures and remember that you need endurance on the path of true love so if this person is a little bit uh, immature or younger if it's a may to december or whatever you know regardless of gender here we're not even talking uh, biological gender or gender preference but perhaps this person has been bullied and therefore they are doing to you and possibly others what was done to them so for you to endure that and to not take it personally that could be not just a big thing you can teach yourself how to do through your own individual experience, but teach this person by example. In other words, talking to a bully doesn't always help, right? Giving them information. They don't want to know. They're too locked in their positionality. All right. So now, God got us all that is, please, one card for what the bully in this, the divine masculine bully can, can look at, can know, a clue, a tip, a hint about this relationship with this divine feminine teacher, top of the deck. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Now I always take pictures of these cards and put them into the edit because I have really great editing software. Fun, not cutting edge, but helpful. So bully, it's like, I, I can feel you're afraid. All right, hold on, hold on. I can feel that that thing of the bully now. I'm like, but what if what if this is real? What if so the cynicism shield is starting to crack apart. Uh, it's starting to break up, and and that's the time we're in right now. It's like we are. Uh, I'm not going to talk about too much where we are as a collective right now because that's a whole other convo. Uh, but alchemizing lead to gold is part of it, you know transforming your fear into love, use the language you choose, but that there is inner strength inside of you, which is not just about, you know, the ability to like pick up a coffee table and hurl it across the, the you know, the yard to scare the crap out of somebody. <clears throat> it's about that. It's so funny. You've got now, now strength and endurance, right? Oh, strength and endurance. The tarot card of strength, the Leo card, right? It's totally associated with Leo. So um, what is the nature of the, the fear here? What is it that the bully is really struggling with? Revenge. Now, revenge isn't always about slashing tires and keying cars. It can be very much, well, look what you did. I'll show you. Look what I do to myself so that this is to show you what you did to me. In other words, you can be bullying others by harming yourself. I mean, I've done it. We've all done it. Oh, yeah? You're going to do that? Well, let me show you what a hot mess I can be, bitch. Right? Shit. I can feel that. So there is this urge in you, but oh, that now they're redirecting, saying that that's what you're doing to yourself. You're like, fine, I'm never going to be in love. Fuck true love. Fuck this. I'm not going to learn. Because of fears from past emotional, unhealed baggage held back in escrow, gaining 
interest over decades. This is its time because underneath that cloud, there is this inner strength. And it's the inner strength of the soul. It's the part of you that is without gender, that is without an ego. But the ego is being alchemized. Uh, the unconditional love that we're giving ourselves is what's giving voice to this pain, but that doesn't mean we act on it. A lot of the inner child work that I've done, my inner child, by the way, I essentially have three of them inside of me, Aries, Artemis, and Hephaestus. And when they're not feeling safe, when they're not feeling happy, they all can get very vengeful, vengeful child, right? But in very different ways. Aries wants to burn it down. Artemis wants to hunt and kill. And Hephaestus just wants to retreat and just tinker away on something. And look, I'm so alone. Nobody loves me. Everybody hates me. Guess I'll go eat worms, right? That's the hammer on the anvil. Uh, but underneath that, there is there is this strength. So this thing of revenge, you can feel it. You can love it. Maybe what this teacher is helping you do is learn how to teach and love and accept that child without it driving the show. I want to pull one more for this teacher, and then we'll see where we are. So uh, again, from the masters, please, might as well balance this out. We've got a nice balance of cards here. So one for this divine feminine teacher. What What's going on there? Because it looks like, you know, of the two, she seems to be a little bit more self-assured and being loving and a little bit clearer in the yin there. But is there something, my masters of true love, that you can help this one? <laughs> Lust. Ding, 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 ding. Don't we just love a bad boy? All right, my joke is when people ask me, what's your type? I'm like, mm, let's see, possible um, substance abuse uh, issue, uh, definitely bad credit rating and a neck tattoo thrown in. But, you know, I've grown out of that. I have grown out of that. Man, I'm in love with, ain't got none of that. He's, uh, he's pretty cool. And another Leo rising, you should see us together. Maybe someday you will. Mm. But that being said, this card of lust, check your entitlement. Uh, the deadly sin uh, 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 used to be called lust. It's the of the solar plexus. Oh, my God. Leo, 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 Leo. So to, <coughs> excuse me, even though the AC is on, the humidity is a bit much today. Oh, to really get, it's like that feeling of entitlement that when you're feeling angry, my divine feminine teacher, that think of that as that lust of like, oh, I'm just going to, I'm going to eat, I'm going to cannibalize you to get that. That is what you're alchemizing in this situation too. Now, look, I'm all. Uh, for freeing yourself from the chains of societal uh, sexual guilt and shame, whether it was through your religion of birth or just through society in general. But maybe that's part of your lesson too, that maybe this there's a push and pull here that's going on, which is totally traditional in a twin flame setting, uh, that you're both learning how to endure and find inner strength in order to at least take the chance and not be so damn bullied by your own cynicism on this, because the romance itself could be really, really worth at least planting the seed and seeing what sprouts, even if you don't let it grow into a tree and blossom and bear fruit, you know, that, that there's a learning curve for all of this. But please, so I'm just going to ask for one more of these cards, and then I'm going to wrap this up. Oh, God, God, us all that is, please, one card an overall overlighting message for these two on the path of true love, wherever they are, whatever they're seeing, whatever they're experiencing, a clue, a tip, a hint, a clue, a tip, a hint, a clue, a tip, a hint. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. I Never tell people what to do, but with that one right in the center, bridging all of this, be open to receive. Take a step. Now I, now that really clicks into place as a full puzzle, all pieces in place, that you're both afraid of this because the lust might be kind of out of control for the teacher and the revenge part of it. Just it's, there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion in here, but
but also the lead uh, to gold ratio feels more like 60-40 uh, than 50-50. And you want to shoot for a 50-50 and then go 51, 52, more towards gold as you go. So my Leos, uh, good luck with this. I'm going to say that as like, good luck with that. Um, but, but there is some potential here. And remember, this is only for one month, right? This is an overview. And by all means, if you want more clarity, because remember, I'm reading for who knows how many thousands of people, right, in the collective that might see this at some point in the next month or so. Uh, if you want a private reading, check the box down underneath this. All my info is in there. And the setup that I'm doing right now to do these readings, I do it on Facebook Messenger with people all the time. And if you don't, if you're not on Facebook, I can always work something out with this. And by all means, if you're local on, uh, on Long Island, Manhattan to Montauk, we can always work something out. Cool, cool. Well, I wish you all the very best of luck and may all the Leo, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs on the path of true love be blessed with all that they need <laughs> for the month of August, 2019. May you be blessed, may you be blessed with all that you need that you may play your role in the divine plan, walk the path of true love with dignity, with grace, with guidance for the well-being of all. Thank you. But for now, hail, farewell, meow, and blessed be.